Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adventure on video. Today we're talking about power grades. What is a power grade? Well, it takes footage like this and turns it into footage like this. Looks a lot better. So let's roll the intro and we'll get right on into it. All right, so what is a power grade? A power grade is basically a LUT, and it's basically what it is, except it allows you to have more control over your colors. When you drag a LUT onto your photo or your video, the only thing you can really do is change the intensity, right? But that's all the other stuff is locked in, and you can just change the intensity for how much you want it to, you know, if it changes your curves, how much you want it to change your curves. But you can't go through and actually change the curves in the LUT. This is where a power grade comes in. It actually will go through and keep all of your settings for your nodes and let you change them even after you've gone through and applied it to your footage. So here we are with some normal, just out of camera footage. This is actually the uh, footage from the Snapmaker Artisan announcement. And we're gonna go, gonna go into here. And you'll see, here's our, our LUT, but we don't, can't change anything, right? Everything is still locked as if we haven't done any adjustments to it. So let's go through and reset our node. We're back to our basics of what we had at the very, very beginning. So if you click on gallery over here, now yours might be uh, toggled off over here. So maybe click this little box and you should see stills and power grade one maybe. If you don't, you can right click over in this area. You can add a stills album. I believe stills stay within this project and power grade album goes within all of your DaVinci Resolve project so it basically goes into DaVinci Resolve as opposed to just this one project so I would create a power grade album if you want to have this used for what you're actually going to use it for which is editing multiple videos right you're going to edit a look for this video and you're going to use it for the next video that's the beauty of LUTs and color grading is that you can go through and save it and use it and kind of have your own look you know so we're going to go through create a power grade album and so not only does it let you save your settings for the nodes it lets you save the positions and how the nodes look and all that stuff so we can even go through here and adjust all of these settings whereas we could go through and adjust our initial basic uh, color correction node but we're gonna go through and add two more nodes and let's say we make this one our curves nodes so we'll up the blacks drop the shadows increase the highlights and then for this one we're gonna go over to our hue saturation warper and we're gonna make our face just a little bit warmer right a little bit a little bit warmer this might look kind of bad because I can't like see it perfectly. I got huge, I got blinding lights around my monitor. Um, but then we go through and maybe we take our blues and we drop these down to be a bit more of like a cyan. So there we go. There is our new color of what we're working with. Looks pretty good. Got a warm tone here, kind of a nice cool tone in the back. And now is the magic. We want to go through and use this for our next video. So we're going to right click on our image here and say grab still. And it'll go into whatever power grade album you're currently in. So we created the new power grade two. It goes into here. If you want to, you can go through and change the label and call this like the window look. That way you can go through and differentiate your different power grade looks. And let's say we then got rid of this. We're starting off with our new footage, new video. We can go through and just drag this on here and look at, there we go. Our footage is already color corrected, already color graded, and we can go through and change our look still. So let's say maybe we want to be a bit more pink and we want our background to be a bit more green, but we also really want to have blown out highlights and really, really dark shadows. So now we can go through and adjust that on the fly per video. Maybe the lighting is brighter in one video and darker in the other video. You can go through and change your curves to match accordingly. And yeah, you can go through and add whatever other settings you want, add positions for your nodes, a whole different slew of variety that you don't actually get with LUTs. LUTs are just a one thing, you slap it on, change the intensity, but with power grids, it keeps your settings and you can kind of have some variability, which is super nice. So this is how I color grade all my footage with power grades and I can go through and change it up every time. So hopefully you guys have learned something and maybe it'll even improve your workflow and make you faster and make you able to make more videos. And yeah, I hope that was great. So if you enjoyed the video, consider hitting like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below with your questions, your thoughts. I'll be sure to answer them. And if I can't figure something out, I'll look it up and see if I can help you out. So have a great rest of your day and take care.